everyone. Today I want to show you about a program you can use to try to figure out when you're going to uh, meet with your team. Uh, it's called When to Meet. So you can go into Google and you can either search When to Meet. They're cool, so they put a 2 in there instead of a 2. And see, there it is, whentomeet.com. You can also just go when to meet. See, I've used it before, whentomeet.com. Um, and so it's going to bring you to a loading page where you're going to have a couple different options. Over here on the left, you can either go, uh, well, over here on the left, you're picking what days your survey is going to go out to. So you can either do a specific day. So you can see today's the 25th. So I can put it out from today on through the rest of the week. Or I can also just be a little bit more generic. Let's say we're trying to figure out when we're going to meet. Monday through Friday, then I can just select Monday through Friday. Let's go with that. And then over here in the middle, you can name your event. So every event has a unique name, but that doesn't mean that it has to be used before. Um, so if I want to say, you know, when are we going to meet? Um, obviously, I'm not the first person to ever put this into this survey, but it still lets you do it. And that's the cool thing about when to meet is that you don't need to put in like any login information. It's not going to take any personal information out of you. Uh, it's completely free to use. Really, all it's just doing is you're setting up a temporary thing. So we can say, when are we going to meet? Or let's say, you know, we're team one. Um, team one meeting time. So you can be a little more specific with your teammates. And then you can put what times. So you can go, you know, all the way from midnight to midnight if you really want to be a little crazy about it. Or, you know, let's say we're trying to meet, figure out where we're going to meet in the evenings when we're all free. So you could go, you know, 6 p.m. and let's say we don't want to be meeting past 10 p.m. So you could do that. Or let's say you want to make sure you're really being flexible. So, you know, maybe we can't meet before class. So you could do, you know, 8 a.m. and, you know, leave it at 10 p.m. in case we have to meet at the libraries. So then when you have everything set, you can go create event. And then it's going to bring you to your event. And how this is going to work is you're just going to put in, you know, any name you want to. Uh, as you see, I've used it before, so I put Sam, and then I can literally set my password. I'm just going to set it literally as password, so just this. Um, and as so I sign in, see, you don't need to confirm my account. And the only reason you have to put this in the first place is that you can go back into this meeting specifically. So just this meeting, not any other meetings that you filled out, but just this meeting with your username and password, and edit your response. So... Let's say, you know, I, oh, you know, I have a 10 a.m. class uh, or let's say I have a noon class on Monday and I'm up early. So, you know, I can meet up until 11 and then say I'm in class noon to six. Then I want to get dinner you know, a little after that. So let's say I could realistically be at the library till 730. So you fill it out there and let's say Tuesdays, you know, I got morning classes and I got lab at three. So I need to be done a little before that. And then, you know, I'm out of lab at five and, you know, I could really just work whenever. Um, and then let's say Wednesday, I have the same schedule. I could just highlight this. And you can see it works right there. I basically just copy it. But let's say, you know, whatever I have going on on Tuesday isn't going on on Thursday. And so I have the same schedule Thursday and Friday. You can drag drop multiple days. So, you know, it's really easy to use. Um, and let's say, you know, you want to clear up that availability. Like, hey, I don't want to be working after, you know, 5 p.m. on Friday. You just drag right back over it and it clears it. So really easy to use. And then you can see over here the results of what I put. And you can see who's available, who's unavailable. So if you want to send this out to your teammates, you can either literally just copy and paste this and send it to them. And you see there it is right there. And they could create a new account. Let's say my name is Dan. I'll get a password, password again. You know, I can go see, oh, you know, there's where Sam's available. And let's say Dan's availability is all in here. So it'll show you overlapping areas. You can see nobody's available here. You know, some teammates are available here. Other ones aren't. And then these overlapping green areas, the dark green ones, you can see when everybody's available. So this could be helpful for uh, trying to figure out when your teams are going to meet. You can also hit the email them button. That's just going to open up Outlook. Um, so again, just copy and paste this in. And then let's say, you know, I want to go back and edit my response. So again, you know, I signed in the SAM previously. So then I can go back in and edit my response. You see, there it goes. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Bye.